Let's look at our intonation. We're talking about uh, using falling intonation on statements. So using falling intonation on statements, this one we have a pattern. Okay, so usually English speakers use falling intonation on statements. And our, vo our voice usually goes up on the most important word and then down. All right, so it goes up, rises, and then it falls. It rises on the most important word and then it falls. So music is an important part of every culture. We have to have every culture or every culture. Which one is falling? Do we say every culture? Is that falling or every culture falling? Every culture. Good, every culture, good. Can you hear it? So notice that in the book you have some, you have some lines, but in writing you don't have lines. That you don't have any intonation lines. So that's why you have to learn to train your ears to hear this sound pattern. All right, so intonation, we don't write it. That's why I put the lines there just to help you train your ears to hear it and then train your mouth to pronounce it. So let's practice. Music is an important part of every culture. Music is an important part of every culture. Good. Your body reacts in a physical way. 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 Music has a power to heal. Music has a power to heal. Music relaxes you when you feel tired. Music relaxes. Relaxes. Three syllables. Relaxes. Music relaxes you when you feel tired. Good. Okay, turn the page. And let's take a look at the intonation pattern for activity 24. And we're using rising intonation here on the yes, no questions. All right, so normally when we ask a yes, no question, our voice goes up on the most important word, on the key word in that phrase. So we do, you see, do you listen to the difference when we make a sentence? Listen to the difference if we make a statement and say, music is an important part of every culture. Falling. Is music an important part of every culture? Rising. Can you hear the difference? Yeah. Yes. Culture. Culture. Mm -hmm. Culture. Culture. Can you hear the difference? Yes. Good. So we want to make rising intonation, use rising intonation on the yes, no question. Let's practice. Is music an important part of every culture? Again, is music an important part of every culture? Number two, do you listen to music? Again, do you listen to music? Number three, does music make you feel better? Again, does music make you feel better? Number four, do you play a musical instrument? Do you play a musical instrument? Again, do you play a musical instrument? Good, very good. In, in just a moment, I'll give you a partner to practice the, an, the question and answer. But let's go over one more common pattern, and that's the one on Activity 25 using falling intonation on WH questions. So we use falling intonation on questions that begin with words like who, what, where, when, and how, how much, how many. So again, our voice goes up on the keyword, the most important word in the sentence, and then it goes down at the end. All right, so let's, let's practice these sentences. What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? When do you listen to the radio? When do you listen to the radio? Again, radio. when do you listen to the radio? Number three, who's your favorite band? Who's your favorite band? Again, who's your favorite band? You understand band? What is band? What is a band? A band is a group, a group of musicians. A group of musicians. It could be players of instruments, or it could be vocalists, singers, or it could be a combination of singers and instrumentalists. A band, a group of people playing music. Number four. How often do you go to concerts? Again, how often do you go to concerts? Okay, very good. Now, with a partner, ask the yes no question and then the WH question, and your partner will give an answer. Pay attention to the correct intonation pattern and then take turns. Go ahead. <laughs> 